Alright, so Cars and Cameras has invited us to a race at their new property. They are calling this race the Backyard 300. Now, most of you may recognize this as the YZ85 shifter cart I built years and years ago, uh, but most of you may not recognize this. This is the very first two-speed go-kart I ever built. I want to say I built this thing like four years ago. I think this was like the first ever sponsored build that I ever did. So this is definitely a very old project. This one needs an engine. This also needs, we need to do a couple changes to the two-speed transmission, refill the tires. This thing doesn't need that much work. Now with this one, uh, we definitely need to do a lot of things to this one because these races are on dirt and this is definitely not a dirt vehicle. Uh, I do have dirt tires that I'm hoping will fit on here. We definitely need to change the gearing because the gearing right now is set for like 70 plus miles an hour. So change the gearing, new tires, get the engine running, fix the brakes because uh, when Lee tried to drive this thing, he uh, hit a pothole and uh, sheared the brake lines in half. Uh, didn't film that, unfortunately. Definitely need to fix a couple things. Also, I'm probably going to relocate the shifter so it's a little bit easier to reach. So uh, I think let's uh, I think let's first start with this one because all this really needs is a new engine and. Uh, we also need to clean this stuff. This stuff has been sitting underneath my shed for years and years, so uh, this stuff could use a good cleaning. So this is my two-speed transmit. This is, like I said in the beginning, this was the very first two-speed transmission that I built from scratch. And uh, it works great. It's, a, it's essentially just a high-low gear, and you can select, you know, first, second, and then neutral and all that kind of stuff. Now, the, the, when I built this, I didn't have a three-quarter inch hub to fit on this end, so I had to turn this down to three-eighths. All I had was a three-eighths hub. 
So I'm not really sure if this axle that's turned down to 3 8 is going to be able to hold up to a Tillotson engine, especially sticking out this far. Plus it's kind of bent a little bit. If you turn it, it kind of, you know, wobbles a little bit. So I'm going to replace the whole axle with this 3, three quarter inch axle from Go Power Sports. I'll strengthen it up and get rid of the wobble at the end. Well, for one thing, I need a kill switch, and the second, I was re I'm really glad that was a neutral. So, not really sure what happened. I don't know. Maybe the idle is just set really high.
Yeah, I think it was just the idle. It was turned up all the way for some reason. I need to put a kill switch on that thing, otherwise that thing's a death trap. So it doesn't like to start without starter fluid. Spray just a little bit in there, then it'll fire up. not really running the best. Uh, it's definitely spitting some black smoke. These engines did sit outside for over a year uncovered, so maybe there's, you know, maybe that's the issue. <laughs> Probably. We got one go-kart finished. Now, it doesn't really run the best. It definitely backfires like crazy, spits a bit of black smoke, and uh, only starts on starter fluid, but at least it runs, it works. Um, I installed the kill switch last night. Didn't show that. I think it just needs carburetor tuning. I'll do it later on. So, let's move on to the shifter cart. Now, I have four of these tires. They're kind of off-road-ish tires. Not really, I don't know what they are. But um, it's what I have, let's make it work. So, now, links for everything in the description below. All the stuff is from Go Power Sports. Definitely go check out links in the description. Um, now, as well as swapping out the tires, we also need to change the gearing, uh, fix the brakes, because the brakes definitely need fixing, as well as get this engine running. Who knows if this thing runs? Hopefully it does, I think it will. I may just need a little bit of carburetor work. Who knows?
All right, so I kind of knew that uh, that these tires aren't really going to be that great for dirt, so I contacted Go Power Sports and had them send us out some 13 by 5 by 6 cleat tires. These will definitely have plenty of traction in the dirt. Now, uh, links for not only the tires, but also most of the stuff you see on here, the seat, steering wheel, tires, rims, hubs, axle, brakes, bearings, plus all the other stuff that's on the other go-kart, which is outside right now. So um, all this stuff is from Go Power Sports. Links in the description below. Definitely go check it out. But uh, for now, let's, uh, let's swap these tires out and also fix the brakes. Dare I say, I feel like I'm getting better at changing tires. I still get really sketched out by inflating them and waiting for the, for the beads to seat. Uh, that still sketches me out. Now these tires are taller than these, so I'm probably going to change the gearing yet again to make it to where these are going to have a little bit more acceleration power and it's not going to be, you know, as fast, but it, we're going to have more. This is a race, it's not a top speed test. I'm probably not going to show it this time because I showed it last time, but, uh, Definitely gonna change the gearing again. All right, the new tires look awesome. This engine does run. I didn't clean the carburetor. I probably should clean it just in case, but it does seem to run. It's not running perfect, but you know, it's whatever. So now, I know you guys are wanting to see me drive this stuff around, but you guys are gonna have to wait for the Cars and Cameras race, which is for me 
in I think four or five days. So uh, anyway, this thing's now ready. The two speed is ready. So I guess I'm gonna move on with uh, other projects. Now, again, links for everything in the description below. Go check it out. But I gotta end this video here. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see ya in the next video. I just punched myself in the eye. That hurt. That was stupid. That hurt. Uh. Wow, that hurt. That was stupid. <laughs> uh. Oh, how'd you get the black eye? Oh, I was changing a tire and I punched myself. <laughs> Ouch.